Hello, YouTubers, friends, and patriots. Look your shells, dust, search peasants, vassals, people who the police are looking for. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. I'm going to go back to the good old USA again and uh, talk about the police. And as my regulars know, uh, I generally uh, don't do uh, videos about specific uh, police incidents unless it exemplifies uh, some of the issues I like to talk about with the police in the United States uh, in the 20th, in the latter 20th century and now the 20, 21st century. And that's these incidents where uh, the overwhelming amount of firepower brought to bear uh, just really uh, says a lot about where uh, police are in the United States today. And it's the story that everyone is uh, probably pretty familiar with now. Three bank robbers, uh, and they were pursued, and they were uh, followed by a helicopter. So they were already being tracked, and yet they were cornered by 33 police officers. I assume that's about 15 or 16 cars. So there's 15 or 16 cars involved, and there's a hostage in the car. And, of course, the 33 officers riddled this car with 600 rounds. And, uh, as, as my regulars know, that's when the, a useful idiot has to say something. Uh, when you have 33 officers unloading 600 rounds into this vehicle, and not only that, there was a hostage, a known hostage in the vehicle, and uh, the hostage was killed by 10 rounds out of those 600 bullets. This was in Stockton, California in uh, July uh, 2014. And uh, so what I, what issues this brings up for me, uh, uh, first of all, is uh, granted we have a bank robbery, but why do 16 or 17 police vehicles have to be committed to this particular crime? Okay, uh, that point can be argued. Um, okay, if they're already tracking the vehicle or the helicopter, why do they have to have that many vehicles in pursuit? Uh, you know, obviously, the vehicle is already being tracked. And then, of course, uh, the fact that the, there has to be uh, eventually 33 officers that show up at this scene and then uh, on, on, uh, unveil a round uh, that would do the death of Bonnie and Clyde, uh, make that look like child's play. 600 rounds and killing the hostage. And uh, so it also brings up the idea of, uh, so the the hostage, the police decide the hostage uh, is superfluous and uh, has to pay the price as well. Um, so uh, this is bringing, uh, bringing in extra judicial powers into the field. Uh, so that's a very questionable and uh, and then, as I always point out, uh, when there's the argument about, well, all policemen aren't bad and these are rogue cops. Um, and, and I'm not saying necessarily that all cops are bad. I'm saying that uh, there's a bad um, uh, police culture. And so it makes good cops bad. And certainly we know uh, a, a lot of the so-called good cops are, are protecting uh, uh, the bad ones and uh, protecting their brotherhood. And that's a documented fact. Uh, but uh, more importantly, like I say, we, we have a police culture where it's perfectly success, uh, uh, acceptable. And uh, we have over 33 officers in this Stockton, California police department. And, and they think it's okay to uh, uh, unload 600 rounds into a car. Uh, with a hostage in it. Uh, that talks about a, a collective mentality, and that's what I'm talking about when, uh, when I'm saying there's something horribly wrong with the police in the United States uh, that we've arrived at this point. And, uh, and it's, it's stories like this uh, that completely exemplify uh, exactly what I want to say. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?